Hi, it's Dawn from Ninja Money Crochet. Today I have for us to do kind of like a mini crochet along. First part is going to be on a hat. I call this my cluster stitch hat. I have it in two sizes, a child size which fits size a 17 to 20 inch uh, head and the adult size is 20 to 23 inches. And then to go along with the hat, I have, let me get the matching scarf, so I have a matching scarf. And this is a keyhole scarf, so there's a hole like right here. And you put one end through the hole, I'm dropping the hats here, like this. And then that goes around your neck. Sorry to mess up my hair here, like this. So you have a matching scarf and hat. So let's turn the camera around and I'll show you the examples of all these hats that I have up close and the scarf. And for this week, we're gonna work on the hat and then next week, we'll work on the scarf. So here's a little up close uh, view of the hat and here's that camel one and you can see that that stitch pattern and the it has a fold up brim to the hat so the it's meant to fold up and here's the in a different color this is kind of an aqua color aqua and gray and then I have it in a black and white and then I did it in a striped pattern here so that you can see that it actually does look pretty nice in solid colors as well so let me pull out one of the keyhole scarves so you can get a just a sneak peek at what next week's video will be. This is the keyhole scarf and here's the, the slip for the keyhole and you can see it's the exact same pattern that is on the, the hat but instead of in the round it's going to be in back and forth rows. So this pattern is worked slightly different when it's in back and forth rows versus how we're going to be working it in the round. So the yarn that we use, let's drop the camera down and we'll talk about that yarn. I used Red Heart Super Saver for this project. Now this is 100% acrylic yarn. It is a medium four yarn. You do not have to use Red Heart Super Saver. You can use any medium four yarn that you choose. But if you choose to use a Red Heart Super Saver, it does come in a seven ounce skein for your solids, 364 yards, 333 meters. In your multicolor, it is a five ounce skein, 236 yard, 215 meters. You will need two skeins of a multicolor and one of the solid color. Now you're not going to use all of the solid color if you're doing the multi pattern as your main color, but if you're going to switch it up, you will use more of your solid color versus your multi color. Um, for the hat alone, clearly you're only going to use uh, about half of your multicolor, but if you're going to be doing the full set, you will need to definitely need two skeins of the multicolor. Now, depending on what size you choose to make your hat in, your scarf is going to be is one size for both the child size and the adult size because it's got the keyhole in it, so the neck size is adjustable. So for the <clears throat> excuse me for the child size you're going to be using an H or a 5.0 millimeter hook. For the adult size you'll be using a 5.5 millimeter hook or an I hook. The child size hat again fits 17 to 20 inch uh, head. The adult size is a 20 to 23 inch size head. You will want a stitch marker to help you keep track of your rounds, a pair of scissors, 
and a yarn needle to weave in your ends. Once you have all of your supplies, let's get started. Before I jump into today's tutorial, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's that little icon down in the corner with my picture on it. It'll automatically subscribe you to my channel. And if you don't want to miss any of my tutorials, don't forget to ring that bell. That'll notify you when I upload a new video. And if you happen to like content like this, please give this video a thumbs up. That lets YouTube know that you like my videos. So for today's tutorial, I'm going to be using the H hook, a 5.0 millimeter hook. This is my Clover Amore hook and I'll be working on the child size. If you are going to be working on the adult size, make sure you're using a 5.0 millimeter hook, which is an I hook. You'll be following the exact same instructions. For those of you who are interested to know what the gauge size is, all of that information will be in the description box below. So we're going to start with a slip knot on the hook. So make your slip knot however you do, you'd make your slip knot. And we're going to start with a chain of nine. So one, two, three, four, eight, nine. Now that we have our chain of nine, we're going to start second chain from hook. The loop on your hook does not count as a stitch. So one, two, and start with a single crochet. We're going to put one single crochet in each chain. So that's three, four, five, seven, and eight. So you'll have eight single crochets at the end of the chain. We're going to chain one turn the work and in that very first stitch place one single crochet and in our next stitch we're going to be working in the back loops only so this loop closest to you that's your front loop and the loop furthest from you which is over here is your back loop so we're going to work in the back loop for the next six stitches so one Two, and we're working single crochet, three, four, five, and six. In that last stitch, work through both loops and place a single crochet. I'm going to chain one and turn the work. We're going to repeat that. So we're going to place a single crochet in that first stitch through both loops. And then in the next six stitches, in the back loop only, a single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, and six, and then in our last stitch through both loops, a single crochet. Chain one, and turn the work. So now we can see we have one, two, three rows completed, and you can see we're starting to get this nice little ridge work come out. So we're going to repeat this row two so we have 60 rows. So a single crochet through both loops in your first stitch, single crochet in the back loop only for six stitches. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six, and single crochet through both loops in your last stitch. So now we have completed four rows, complete, continue uh, working the same pattern for 60 rows, 
and I'll meet back up with you at the end of row 60. We're at the end of row 60, we still have 8 stitches. We're going to chain 1 and turn the work. Fold up your brim in half so that row 1 meets row 60, so we're going to slip stitch our brim together. So go through both loops of that first stitch into the free loop of row 1 and slip stitch. To the next 6 stitches go through the back loop only into the free loop of row 1. Do one, two, three, four, five, and get that tail out of the way, and six. Then into that last stitch, go through both loops of row 60 into that free loop of row 1 and slip stitch. Chain 1. And what I like to do at this point is take my hook out, turn the brim so that your seam is on the inside, and then you're going to turn it around so that right side is facing you. Put your hook back inside your loop. Now you can work over your tail or you can just drop it to the inside of your brim and weave it in later. And now we're going to work one single crochet into the ends of each of the rows. So let's work one single crochet into the end of each of the rows. all the way around the brim. I will meet back up with you at the end of the round. I'm all the way back around. You should have 60 single crochet and you're going to slip stitch to the very first single crochet that you made. To start round two, we're going to chain one and we're going to single crochet in the front loop only of each stitch around. Now remember when we were doing our brim, we were single crocheting in the back loop. So this time around, we're going to be doing the front loop. So these are our back loops and these will our, our front loops. So we're going to single crochet in the front loops this time. And we're going to start with the same stitch that we just slip stitched into, so we're going to single crochet in that front loop. Might be a little bit difficult to get into, so if you have trouble getting into just the front loop, go ahead and get into both loops. So single crochet in just the front loop of each stitch. So I will meet back up with you at the end of this round. This is round two. We're at the end of round two. We still have 60 stitches or 60 single crochet. We're going to slip stitch to that first single crochet that we made to end the round. To start round three, we're going to chain up three. One, two, and three. This counts as our first double crochet. Here's where I would suggest to use a stitch marker if you have trouble finding the top of that chain when you come back around to uh, join. So you can go ahead and put your stitch marker right at the top of that chain. So we're going to double crochet into the next stitch.
and double crochet into each stitch around. Just a little more there. So keep working double crochet into each stitch all the way around, and I will meet back up with you at the end of this round. We're at the end of round three. We have 60 double crochet. We're going to slip stitch to the top of the chain three, which we marked with our st stitch marker. Just like that. Now rounds four and five are exactly the same. We're going to repeat round three. So chain up three, one, two, three. Again, I suggest you mark that top chain. And we're going to double crochet into each stitch around. So one, two, three, and so forth. Just keep putting one double crochet into each stitch. Oops. Make sure you complete your double crochet. I will meet back up with you at the end of round five. So remember, you're doing two rounds of double crochet for round four and round five. We're at the end of round six. We're going to go ahead and move that stitch marker and we're going to slip stitch to the top of that chain three, but this time we're going to change colors. So let me just get into the top of that chain three. We're going to drop our solid color and we're going to pick up our multicolor. split there. Let's try that again. So I accidentally split it. There we go. Now if you like you can go ahead and put a little knot in there. You can always take it out later. I've already clipped this off. I've already clipped the solid off. You just go and put a little knot in the ends just to keep them secure so they don't unravel. That's totally up to you. Some people do not like to put knots in their crochet and that's all. That's okay. You don't have to. You can always just weave them in later. You can also work over both of these ends on your next round or you can let them hang and weave them in later. For tutorial purposes I'm going to let them hang. Normally I would be working over them just to make it a little bit easier for you to see what I'm doing. I'm going to go ahead and let them hang down there and work them in later. To start round six, we're going to chain up three again. One, two, and three. Go ahead and put that stitch marker in there, just like that. And we're going to do one more round of double crochet. So go ahead and work double crochet all the way around and I'll meet back up with you at the end of the round. We're at the end of round six. We have 60 double crochets. I'm going to take out our stitch marker and slip stitch to the top of the chain three. There we go. 
Round seven is going to start our first cluster stitch round. We're going to start with a chain two. Now this chain two does not count as a stitch. To start our beginning cluster, this is only for the first cluster of the round. We're going to yarn over, insert back into that same stitch that we just slip stitched into, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert back into the stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. We now have three loops on our hook, yarn over, and pull through all three loops. The stitch that we're going to mark is not the chain two, it's going to be that cluster stitch is what we're going to mark. That is the stitch we're going to slip stitch into at the end of the round. Chain one, skip the next stitch, which is right here, this stitch right here, we're going to skip that stitch, go to the next stitch, and we're going to do a cluster stitch. This is going to be a little bit different than that beginning stitch. This is going to be the full cluster stitch. So we're going to yarn over, insert into the stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through two. We're going to do that two more times for a total of three times. Yarn over, insert into the same stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over, insert back into the stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through the first two loops. So now we have four loops on our hook, yarn over, and pull through all four loops on the hook, and then we're going to chain one. Skip the next stitch, and we're going to repeat that. Yarn over the hook, insert into the stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, back into the same stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over, insert back into the stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two four loops left on the hook, yarn over, pull through all four loops, chain one. Again, we'll do it one more time, skip the next stitch, yarn over, insert into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert into the same stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, back into the same stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Four loops left on the hook, yarn over, pull through all four loops, chain one. So you're going to repeat that all the way around to get back to the beginning, and I'll meet back up with you at the end of the round. We're at the end of round seven. We have 30 cluster stitches. We're going to slip stitch to the top of the first cluster stitch which we marked with our stitch marker. We're skipping that first chain two because that does not count as a stitch. To start round eight we're going to chain one and we're going to single crochet right back into that same stitch that we just slip stitched into. It might be helpful to go ahead and mark that stitch as your first stitch of round eight. We're going to now be single crocheting in every chain space and every chain. It's a lot easier to get your single crochets into the chain versus the top of the cluster and it also when you're working in the round it actually lines the clusters up if you actually put your single crochets into the chain versus the top of the cluster. When you're working your next round of clusters they line up a lot nicer if you work into the chain space into the chain versus the top of the cluster and I'll show you exactly where I mean where you should be putting your single crochet. 
So your next single crochet is going to go in between the two clusters right here. So we're going to put it right there and then your next one is going to go right into this next space that looks like a triangle. If you just pull it out a little bit it looks just like that right next to the right in that space there. Then we're going to go to the next between the next two clusters, that's your chain space, and you're going to put a single crochet. And then you'll see this space right here that looks like a triangle. That's where you put your next single crochet. Then you go between the clusters into that chain space, and then into that space that looks like a triangle. That's the chain. So when you're going to work your single crochet is just like that all the way around to get back to the beginning. Come to the end of round eight. This is our last cluster, but we do need to remember to put a single crochet in between the last cluster stitch and our first cluster stitch from the previous round. This should give us 60 single crochet in round 8. Remove your stitch marker and slip stitch to the first single crochet that you made. For rounds 9 through 18, we're just going to repeat round 7 and 8 over and over again. I'll start you off on round 7 and then I'll meet back up with you at the end of round 18. So to start off again, we're going to chain two, one, two, and we're going to yarn over and go back into that same stitch and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, go back into the same stitch, pull up a stitch, a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through all three loops. That's your beginning cluster. Only do that on your first stitch of the round. Make sure you put your stitch marker in the top of the cluster stitch because the chain two does not count as a stitch. Chain one, skip the next stitch and a cluster stitch in the next. Yarn over, insert into the stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert into the same stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Do that one more time to complete the cluster stitch. We have four loops left, yarn over, pull through all four loops, and chain one. That's your beginning cluster and your cluster. Skip the next stitch and repeat the cluster stitch. So repeat round 7 and 8 for rounds 9 through 18, and I will meet back up with you at the end of round 18. We're at the end of round 18. We have 60 single crochets. We're going to go ahead and take our stitch marker out and slip stitch to that first single crochet that we made. To start round 19, we're going to chain one and we're going to single crochet two stitches together. So we're going to insert our hook into that same stitch that we just slip stitched into, pull up a loop, go into the next stitch and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three loops on our hook. And that is a single crochet two together. We're going to do that again. We're going to repeat that again. So we're going to insert our hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop, insert into the next stitch, and pull up a loop. Three loops on the hook, yarn over, and pull through all three loops. 
We're going to continue that all the way around the hat, insert into the next stitch, pull up a loop, insert into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through all three loops on the hook. That is single crocheting two stitches together. So please repeat this all the way around and I'll meet back up with you at the end of the round. So we've made it all the way back around. We now have 30 stitches. We're going to slip stitch to that first stitch that we made. To start round 20, we're going to chain one and we're going to repeat round 19. So we're going to go ahead and insert our hook into that same stitch that we just slip stitched into, pull up a loop, insert into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, draw through all three loops again, and we just single crochet two stitches together again. We're going to keep repeating that all the way around again, just single crocheting two stitches together. So please repeat this all the way around and I'll meet back up with you at the end of the round. Made it all the way back around to the beginning. We now have 15 stitches. We're going to slip stitch to that first stitch that we made. And we're going to go ahead and now fasten off. Make sure you leave a nice long tail there for sewing the top of your hat closed. So we just need to get our yarn needle so that we can sew up the top of the hat. And let's just back up the camera so you can. So take your yarn needle, thread it up, and just weave it in and out the stitches at the top of your hat. Go all the way around the top. the beginning and then you can just pull it closed and make sure you go across the top a couple of times back and forth so it doesn't open up. I like to do it a couple of different directions to make sure it doesn't open up. Once you're confident that you've got this sewn down pretty tightly and that your top of your hat is not going to open up, I'll do one more over this way. Then you can bring it down through the center to the inside. Go inside the hat to knot it off. Just go through a couple of stitches in the inside and make a little knot. snip it off and that is done. And you want to go ahead and if you have any other 
ends, you go ahead and weave those in. And then we'll be ready to just put a row of single crochet along the bottom of the brim. Okay, now with your hat right side out, when you fold up your brim, this part of the brim is the correct side of the brim, the right side of the brim. We want to put a row of single crochet with on this side of the brim. So you're going to want to just turn your hat inside out so that this is your right side of your brim. Get your crochet hook with the matching color for the brim, so your solid color. And look for your seam right here. Just to the right of the seam, attach your yarn with a slip knot or slip stitch. And we're just going to put chain one, and then we're going to go right back in there and do a single crochet. I'm going to work over that tail, that starting tail. We're going to work over the top of that. I'm going to do a single crochet. And I'm just going to put one single crochet into every row, just like we did when we first started our hat. We're just going to put one single crochet into every row. It just makes a nice finishing edge on your hat. Continue working one single crochet into every row all the way around and I'll meet back up with you at the end of the round. So we're all the way back around to the beginning. We're going to slip stitch to that first single crochet that we made. And we're just going to go ahead and fasten that right off. <clears throat> so we just need to weave in the ends and we'll be all finished. So let me just get my uh, yarn needle and we'll go ahead and do that and I'll be right back. 